Pull that. Hello. I'm going to show you how to use this AP mount with this AP device. Haha! Uh -huh. We are using Aruba. And uh, this video is sponsored by 3D2 Solutions. I'll think, outperform. Yeah. All right, let's get back to it. <laughs> All right, so our AP device on the back of this bad boy. We have the AP side mount that will already be connected to this. Now, if it's not, it's probably in a separate box, compartment, but it usually comes like this. There is a lock pin and a security screw. Both of these are spring activated. This can lock it in place, but this security screw makes sure that it cannot walk away. No tall people can take this away if you lock this down. All right, once again, this is the security screw. Pushes in and then it locks while turning it. And this is the security pull pin or just the pull pin in general. And these are just so you can see it up close. And yes, these are both administered to the Aruba 500 via screws there and there. Well, let's move on. This is our AP mount, the other side too. What we're gonna do is open it up. And it comes with three pieces. We have our wall mount, our ceiling mount. This has holes in it. This is for our screws. We have a left side and a right side. Now these are both interchangeable. The only difference is one has a protruding nose. The other one has a section for that nose to go into to interlock. Just looking at this real quick up close. The protruding side. That is the side that locks or the flush side. This is actually the protruding side. Now this protruding side has a little round circle that protrudes a little bit and in tangent, they lock and they slide down. Now they can lock and slide down, but that doesn't mean that they're locked all together. If you look at the bottom, there's also a little hook. Put it together and bam, it's not going anywhere. Not successfully locked, but they are working in tangent. The restrooms, if you look at them like this, the, uh, they the connect, or it's like dusty and stuff. but they lock in just place so just, from so two components here, a hook at the bottom the and, like when and you, this you bad boy know, right here. If it's like it's so, in combination, they lock into place. Then, now, I, I can like hold it up like this, and it's not going to go pick up where you left off there. But it's flimsy, it's not gonna work unless we have our lock screw in place. Now, to know that you combine this correctly, those holes line up. If we did this invertedly, for one, you can't do it invertedly, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's gotta go one way. So, we know it works like this, and we know that our screws are a hole completely clear now we can actually use this without this top piece the screw top piece, and we can put it on a ceiling grid with putting on the ceiling grid you're gonna look at the two sides you have a chunky top and you have a thin bottom this chunky top depending on the width of the grid you can actually use this top now you would put it on one side. Oh. You put it on one side first, when you get the other side on, they'll just slide it next to each other and they go on like that. Now with that being said, let's see if we can slide it on with the AP. The AP can actually have both sides go on. Actually, no, that's a lie. The top part can have both sides slide on. Yeah, 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 yeah. The top, the top can have both sides slide on. So it can be slide on from the top, it can also slide on from the bottom. Uh, that's a lot too. Let's only do the chunky side on the top. 
see it. That's better. That's like more stability and everything. So we'll do that. It fills it out more too. But combining it all together, let's see if this is correct. Is this correct? I don't think so. Why is it not correct, you may ask? For one, we have a hole down here that looks like a hole right here. So that's the first part. Second part is the security screw part. That security screw is not open, it's not available. That means you can't use it. That means that this is incorrect. Now, if we reverse this, Bada bing, bada boom. First off, the, se oop, the security screw has a full access through, as well as our pull, tins, pull pin screw has a clear access as well. Now, if this is our pin side, this is our pin side, we're gonna just slide it on. And it's not going nowhere, but that's just with the pull pin. Now let's put one up real quick, just to show y'all. Woo! Yeah, I think it's like either there or there. Towards yourself, you should cut away from yourself. Cutting. Okay, is this yours? It is. Oh. I'm to grab it or shit. I hear you. Alright, we're inside the box. And as you can see, we're on a construction site right now. Our AP came with the bottom mount in place. Full pin, operational, security pin, operational. First things first, we're gonna get rid of this because we're in the kitchen and we have a ceiling grid. Second, we're gonna separate this bad boy. Put one side in between the ceiling tile. Oh, this is locked in place. That one's locked in place too. Oh, we can do it right here. One side right here. The other side right here. And it locks in place. Oh, how do you know that it's all locked in place? It's not locked in place. It's locked in place once we use this. And once we use this. First things first, let's put this on. And pull the pin. It's up. Now this can slide back and forth, and remember, you need the security pin to make sure nobody can just take this and walk away. And with that, you just need a P1 or a P2. And uh, just for sake, I did not put this on the right way. The pin or the screw hole is on this side. I need to actually access it from this side to make it easier so I can see. So I'm actually gonna turn this whole thing around. And uh, it's not even that hard. I'm gonna just take this off real quick, put it back in the box, separate these two, invert them or reverse them, check my side, put it back up. Oh yeah, it's all coming together now. Slide, pull the pin, and we're building again. Do the shake test. The shake test to make sure it doesn't come off. This is the shake test. I'm gonna step up a little taller on my ladder. 
look at the security screw, and screw it in. And we're good. Look. Now, the question is, where are you going to put your cable at? How is the cable going to come in? For our cable, it's right here. Now, we'll come back and terminate it later. But I'm going to show you how I want it to come out the ceiling. Watch out. I made it. I didn't make it. <laughs> I'm gonna run these cable this way. And by the way, this is AP2. So let's just pull off a little bit of slack just for the show. I'm gonna use this. All right, obviously we're not gonna put this on the grid, but just, just for the show real quick. Now, what we're gonna do first is put the grid as close to that as how we're gonna have it. Oh, it's this right here. And we're gonna put the cable as close as possible as well. Now, our opening is right here. So to hide this, the best way we need to put our opening somewhere in this area as well. So, usually I mark mines, but I'm a trained professional. My scissors have grooves where I can scissor or cut stuff, but I would prefer a drywall knife. I'm actually gonna get mines and uh, be right back. I'm gonna pause this. Huh? Pause it. All right, so I got to me trusty drywall knife used on ceiling tiles. So once again, keep it nice and uniform. And leave it like that. Now I'm gonna tilt this side down first. Slide this up a little bit. And we slide this too. Bada bing. Bada boom, this, you know, we connected it. It, it, it'd be hidden. Actually, we just, you know, shove it up a little bit more. And then bada bang, bada boom. Your AP will look like that. The hole is hidden from the front side. Obviously from the back, you'd see it. But even still, kind of uniform. And this is the grid mounting style for this. Now there are tile mounting ways as well, which we use that top piece, this bad boy, but, for this restaurant and for this concept, we will be using this style. Quicker, efficient, as well as the customer can always move it around it, if need be. Thanks.